Before his recent death at age 73, Khalifa bin Zayd al Nahyan was one of the world's wealthiest monarchs, and he has left behind a jaw-dropping fortune of $140 billion. The Sheik, as you might imagine, owns a majority of supercars, including very rare ones, like this Lamborghini LM002. Lamborghini did not enter the SUV market for good reason, but the Sheik owns one of the most rare SUVs ever made, probably one of the only ones in the world. This Lamborghini LM002, if for sale today, could be very well listed for up to $400,000. The list of his car collection also includes Bugatti Veyrons, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, and F1 cars. Additionally, he owns one of only 10 Rolls-Royce drop heads in the world. It's an impressive collection. However, the Sheik did admit he was not able to obtain every rare supercar in the world, but he definitely tried. One of the largest car collections in the world would need some place to store them all, and the Sheik had just the solution. He built a massive pyramid garage in the desert that could store the entire collection, including this Dodge Power Wagon. It is the largest power wagon in the world, eight times the size of a standard power wagon. When you're that rich, go big or go home. This might look like an office building, but it's actually the world's largest mobile caravan, equipped with many bedrooms, toilets, and a viewing deck. It is still on display with its original interiors at a museum today, since the Sheik had it custom made. It's not entirely clear what this vehicle is modeled after. It seems to resemble either a flying car or a prototype jet engine car. Valued at around $2 million, it looks like this may have been purchased after a record-breaking attempt to fly a car and has been kept as a collector's item ever since. Today we haven't seen much of his flying car, it appears to be locked away in the archives of that pyramid museum, most likely. Controversially, he once owned a private island off the coast of UAE, however, his name was recently removed from the island. The island was supposed to be converted into a massive home for the Sheik, but in view of the lack of roads and travel time to the mainland, it appears that plans for the whole project are off the table, for now. But at one point, he definitely did own an island. Khalifa was one of the world's richest people, maybe the richest at times, according to Forbes. In 2013, he ordered his superyacht Azam. It was the longest motor yacht ever built at 590 feet. It cost between $400 and $600 million to build. She can accommodate 36 guests and over 80 crew members, one of the highest numbers in her size category. According to reports, Azam has 18 guest cabins and a sprawling owner suite. Rumor has it that the suite is bulletproof, and a missile defense system is installed on board the yacht. The billionaire Sheik had many mansions around the world and apparently filled their water tanks with imported mineral water. The super rich Sheik filled the water tanks of an 18th century mansion he hardly ever visited with Evian mineral water. It was revealed in court documents that showed Sheik Khalifa imported the water for his lavish mansion in Berkshire. He bought Ascot Place, a grade two listed mansion near Windsor Gray Park, Berkshire for $22 million, but made extensive renovations and it is now valued at more than $74 million. As part of the renovation, tanks filled with water were shipped from Evian, France, where the royal family also owns several homes. King Khalifa's property portfolio also spans to some of London's most expensive neighborhoods and is primarily made up of super prime commercial and residential properties. One of the portfolio's luxury blocks is on the market for about $20 million, but his total ownings are valued at over $5 billion. Property is one thing, but his major wealth comes from, well, you guessed it, oil. He controlled 78.8 billion barrels of reserves and ran one of the largest sovereign wealth funds with reported assets of $830 billion. Well, at least he knew how to spend it. Of course, the late billionaire ruler had a pretty sweet private plane. Fully customized to his liking, the jet is worth $120 million. Not many people set foot on this plane, but we were able to find some rare footage. 
Sheikh Khalifa was the eldest child of a family of 29 children. Upon his father's appointment as Emir of Abu Dhabi in 1966, he assumed the role of ruler's representative in the eastern region of Abu Dhabi. In the years before he replaced his father's roles in November 2004, he held multiple positions, including Abu Dhabi's Prime Minister, Minister of Defense, and Minister of Finance. After offering Dubai $10 billion in aid during the financial crisis of 2009, the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa, was named after the president. After his death, in honor of his memory, President Joe Biden pledged to strengthen the long-standing ties between the U.S. and the United Arab Emirates. In 2014, Sheikh Khalifa suffered a stroke, and his brother, Mohammed bin Zayed, or known as MBZ, took over the crown as Prince of Abu Dhabi a decade earlier. As a result, Sheikh Khalifa was rarely seen in public despite continuing to issue decrees. MBZ became President of the UAE and ruler of Abu Dhabi recently. Although MBZ has been the country's de facto ruler since 2014. So no major shifts in day-to-day -day governance or foreign policy are expected. But who will replace MBZ as the country's next crown prince of Abu Dhabi? Considering how much power in the UAE has been centralized in Abu Dhabi, this will basically determine who will become the next crown prince. According to experts, there are two likely candidates. Sheikh Khalid bin Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan is a member of the Abu Dhabi Executive Council and chairman of the Abu Dhabi Executive Office. Some of his responsibilities are in the area of information, security, and domestic intelligence. Tanun bin Zaid Al Nyan is UAE's national security advisor and is also a senior government official. They are both powerful men in Abu Dhabi with access to critical networks in the UAE. Even without knowing who will replace MBZ as the next crown prince of Abu Dhabi, a sensitive question worth addressing is, how would Abu Dhabi and the other five emirates relate to each other in the post Sheikh Khalifa era if the new UAE president transforms the country into a unitary state? Well, time will tell. Even so, the UAE has managed to remain a prosperous federation and has overcome many governance challenges in the past. The country has now entered a 40-day mourning period with flags flown at half-mast and a three-day work ban. But who gets this massive fortune? Well, his immediate family includes his wife, Shamza, and his eight children, Sultan, Muhammad, Shama, Salama, Osha, Shika, Latifa, and Musa. Most of them are only in their 30s. It is well known that some media types accuse the Sheik of reckless extravagance across his portfolio worth billions of dollars, but we love it. R.I.P. Sheik Khalifa, you live the life to the richest.